Hi, I'm Sarah Baya, and welcome to my science class. Good day, class. Are you excited for another fun and interesting lesson ahead? In today's lesson, we will be describing changes in the properties of materials when they are exposed to certain conditions such as heat and cold. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to Describe what happens to materials when heated and describe the changes in materials when cooled. For our review, we have learned that solids can undergo change. Solids change through the process of bending, pressing, hammering, and cutting. They may change in size, shape, and texture, but no new material is formed. Have you ever imagined yourself in a game show? Would you like to be in one? Here's what you're going to do. I will show you some materials and the process used to change the material. Just answer yes or no to the changes in their characteristics. Are you ready? Good luck! And let's start! Did you answer them correctly? If you do, congratulations! Have you keep a chocolate bar in your bag and forget about it? Or place a stick of butter in the freezer for a long time? What happens to these materials? For this week, we are continuing our work on materials, and today, we will look at how materials change, especially when they are exposed to different temperatures. We are going to investigate how heating and cooling materials change their characteristics. But as a safety reminder, be careful in doing the activity. Always ask and do the activity in the presence of an adult. In today's experiment, we will be heating materials. Never work on this in the absence of your parent or guardian to avoid accidents and injury at home. For our first activity, I'm going to demonstrate to you how materials change when heated. Observe the changes after I applied heat on the materials. So get your ball pens and paper ready as you watch this simple demonstration.
Did you observe the changes in the crayon, butter, and chocolate after heating? What happened to each of the materials? What process did I use to change the materials? Let's take a look at the before and after. When a solid material like crayon, butter, and chocolate are heated, it absorbs the heat from the flame. Heat means to become hot or warm. The heat absorbed by the material 
cause it to change its characteristics and form. Materials when heated changes its size, shape, and texture. You observed earlier that the crayon, butter, and chocolate, which was solid from the start, melted when it was heated. So some materials when heated changes in form, from a solid form to a liquid form when heated. For our next activity, I'm going to demonstrate to you how materials change when cooled. Observe very well the changes after I cooled the materials. Watch this simple demonstration. When solid materials are cooled, it remove or release the heat. Heat remove or release cause the materials to change its form. As a result, the materials changes its size, shape, and texture. But most important is that the material change its form. From liquid, it became solid when cooled. analyze the material after heating and cooling them. Will they be able to go back to its original form? In our demonstration earlier, you saw that change is constant. Some are reversible, while others are irreversible. Let's learn more about reversible and irreversible changes and understand the difference between them. Reversible means that the change caused by heating or cooling can be undone. One example of this is when butter melts after heating. When you cool it down, the butter will become solid again. It is similar to what happened to the crayon and chocolate. At the beginning, these materials were solid in form. When heat is applied, they change to liquid. But after placing them in a bowl of ice, both turn back to solid. This is called reversible change. Irreversible means that the change from heating or cooling
cannot be undone. One example of this is when you cook an egg. After heating, it cannot go back to the way it was before. Another example is when you burn a piece of paper, it turns to ash. It cannot become paper again. This is called irreversible change. Now let's apply what you have learned. Look at this kitchen. Draw a circle around each food item that changes when you heat and changes back when it cools down. Place an X over each food item that changes when you heat it, but does not change back when it cools down. Your time starts now! If you answer them all correctly, good job! So, in this lesson, you learn that materials when heated or cooled change their shape, size, texture, and may also change in form. When these processes are applied, some materials may go back to its original form while others cannot. What an interesting lesson, isn't it? So that's it for our lesson for today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheets. I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening and goodbye class. That's all for today. See you next time.